Now, a few weeks ago, I was watching the comms channel, and they showcased one of these. It's the, uh, what is it? Sense cap from Seed Studio. The model is T1000-E. It is a little, literally, credit card size Meshtastic node. And I thought it was pretty cool. So immediately after watching the video, I ordered one. And full disclosure, uh, a week after I ordered it, I got an email from Seed Studio asking if I'd want one for a review. And I just simply deleted that email because I don't do sponsored videos. Uh, nothing against them. I enjoy other people's sponsored content. It's just not my style, nothing I want to do. But at any rate, this thing is pretty cool for two reasons. First, it's super compact size. It's literally the size of a credit card. And it's about, oh, quarter inch, six millimeters thick. No thrills, uh, just a little speaker, LED light, and a push button for turning it on and off. You can see right here is the internal antenna. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, see-through case you can see the battery in there now the compact size is one cool thing their cool thing is it allegedly has a ip65 rating which is not waterproof to the point where you can submerge it or anything but it's pretty water resistant and uh impervious to dust so you can get this wet can get splashed on cotton or rain uh, don't go dunking in the river with it and that's what we've been missing in the meshtastic node world in my opinion uh, a, lot, a lot of the nodes you know are put together yourself type kits uh, now we're starting to see some off-the-shelf complete things like the lily go tea echo in the rack wireless whiz mesh pocket which i'm a huge fan of but you know they're, they're still not weather resistant like this so this is really appealing to me and i think it'd be really appealing to a lot more people who are into the outdoors uh hikers campers hunters the preparedness type people will really enjoy these as well and i'm glad i got one so let's talk about uh, some of the specs of this thing. Uh, the thing that everybody wants to know is reception wise, how good of an antenna is it being encased in this thing? And it's comparable in my unscientific testing uh, as the other little tracker that I have that is, oh, what is that thing? That's a Helltech. And most of the other uh, WizBlock style nodes that I have with a stubby antenna now if you put the larger antennas on you get a little better results but this thing's comparable to everything else which i was quite pleased with battery life i was very pleased with uh granted it doesn't have a hard uh, on and off switch you just put it into a deep sleep mode but on uh when you have it on like i have now which is kind of on on a standby I'll get around three days before the battery goes down to the point where it turns off. It only takes about an hour or so to charge it back up. And if you put it into the deep sleep, I did that. Uh, I charged it up to 100%. I put it in the deep sleep for 48 hours, took it out, and I was still at 97, 98%. So not too bad. Uh, again, I'd like it if you could have a hard shut off button, but what have you. Now the one feature that I'm kind of undecided on if I like or not is how you charge it here. You see the the four brass posts and the two silver on the outside. Those silver uh, discs are magnets and the power cord for this thing is the same thing. It has the magnets on it so it locks right on. USB on the other end and it locks, I mean, Check this out. I just let go. It locks on pretty good. You gotta give it a pretty good shake for it to come off. I'll do it again. So 
I'm pretty impressed with that. Another cool feature is the polarity of these magnets are in a such a way if you try to put it in upside down, it will repel. So that's pretty cool as well. Now why I'm on the fence with this is I'm not too familiar with this style of connector. I've never seen one before. And uh, I got a feeling they're available out there, but they're probably not cheap. So having that, eh, just don't lose it, right? So overall, these things are pretty cool, and I think they're gonna appeal to a lot of people who are dancing around Meshtastic at this point. Like the other Helltech tracker that I showed, it could be useful for families, uh, going to the ball game, going to the music park, going camping, where you have questionable cell service, or at the end of the game, the cell towers get overloaded. You got a nice backup an easy way to keep track of your kids and your spouse and your vehicle. They're low profile. You slip these into your pocket. You can attach them to your backpack. They don't draw a lot of attention. And they're pretty much uh, weather resistant. So that's pretty cool. I also see it being uh, a big win for the prepper type people. Again, the outdoorsmen, the campers, uh, ham radio, operators who volunteer at Aries events, you know, like uh, marathons or bicycle races where you're out in the elements, having something like this could be very, very useful. I'm going to be using this one uh, paired up with a ruggedized Android phone that has ATAC on it. Meshtastic has a plug-in for ATAC, and I see that being very useful in that same type of situation, say a marathon where you can have ATAC running and everybody including the ham radio operators who are doing the voice stuff and the regular volunteers without a license, because you don't need a license for Mishtastic, can be texting each other back and forth without uh, internet service or cell phone service. And you can have a real-time map showing the course of the race, uh, the aid stations, the checkpoints, uh, where each wave is on the map it'd be a really cool thing so i'm going to explore that the sense cap from seed studio so if you've been on the fence of getting into mesh tastic because you want something that's a little more rugged here you go <laughs> 